What's up guys, Sammy Itsky here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bucktail clouser, which is that guy there. Now these would have to be one of the most widely used flies in fly fishing. Um, I reckon just about every fly box should have one if they don't already. Very simple, to, uh, very simple to tie, very easy to use, and they can catch so many different species that it's, uh, it's just crazy not to have one with you at all times. So that's the guy there, and it's on a 2 -oh hook. Uh, I'm going to show you how to tie one right now. Now what we need for this one, we need our hook there, that's a 2 -oh Gamma Cac 2 SL12 I think it is. I've got a set of dumbbell eyes, and I've got my two bits of bucktail. I've got white and pink, my favourite com colour combination. Now, we're going to start this off by laying the thread on the shank and working it back towards the gape of the hook. The idea behind this is to, to start the thread, give you something to work with, but also to create a base to lay your eyes and your, uh, your bucktail on. So once you've got a nice even layer of thread there, grab your dumbbell eyes, place them oh, about, about a, oh, just shy of a centimetre back from the eye of the hook. You want to leave yourself plenty of room to work with. And then use your thread to do figure eights over the top of those eyes until it's locked in position, like so. Tighten it up like that. Once you give it a few wraps, give it a quick tweak, and if it moves, then you need to do a few more. If it's pretty solid, then you're good to go. So, that's feeling good there now. Now, the first bit we're gonna do is gonna be pink. Now when this fly sinks, the weight of these eyes is going to make it sink upside down like that. So we're going to have pink on the bottom. So we grab our bucktail, feel around for a nice long section there and a nice little bunch of it. I think that'll do. Grab our yeah, shoot super sharp scissors, separate it out. and snip away. Beautiful. So that's him there. Now pull out any loose bits, give the end a trim. It's nice and neat. And what you want to do is lay it over your dumbbell eyes there and use your thread to loosely catch it on the first couple of passes. Now this helps you to secure it and get it in position. Make sure it's all playing the game. Because it will try and pull over this side of the hook because that's the direction of the way, uh, the direction of the thread. But if you keep riding it and then make your loops tighter and tighter, it'll eventually play the game and stay in the right spot. Now at this stage you can use your scissors to trim any longer bits so they don't encroach on the eye of your hook. And it also helps just to make it look nice and neat because it's not the fish mine, but they look better in your fly box, that's for sure. Let's get a few of these last little strands here. Beautiful. And then we take our thread all the way to the end and lock it in place. So it should look like that. Now, now we want to bend it over the eyes and lock it in position on the other side of the head. So again, do your wrap underneath. So go underneath your eyes, do a loose loop over the top to just grab it and slowly get tighter with your loops until you've got it locked in position and then give it some wraps. That's looking and laying nicely. So that's the back session done, easy as. So now, we roll our vice over so we can attack the underside. Now, grab our white bucktail and do the exact same thing. Grab out a good section, it's good length, uh, like those ones. Good length and a nice varying array of, of lengths in there. 
and then cut him off. Grab the excess. Okay, so that's our white bit of bucktail, that's what we're going to use there. Now we want to lay that, try and get an even amount of bucktail on each side of the, uh, the hook point there. And in your other hand, hold it while you loop the thread over the top. Same thing, you kind of increase your pressure once you secure the bucktail. Now, again, get the scissors, trim it up nicely. So it's nice and neat. Slide that bit back over here. And then once it's all nice and neat, do your, your harder, tighter wraps to get it all in position and lock it there. Like so. Now, this stage you can spin it back over and it's time to finish off the fly. So, I don't have a special tool, so I make a half hitch with my finger over the eye and tighten. Half hitch over the eye, tighten, and one more for good luck. Over the eye and tighten. Now, grab your scissors, cut your thread off nice and close. Grab your uh, UV cement. Now, if you've lost your your uh, little brush like I have, you can use a section of line, I'm using a zip tie, and just coat all the sections of thread there with your, uh, your clear coat. Now make sure you get the whole way around because this protects the uh, thread as well, it stops it from coming undone but also protects it from fish's mouths. So fish like queenfish and trevally they will actually wear through the thread if it's not coated. And then we do the back section here. And I also put some where the bucktail goes over the eyes there, like so. And that protects the bucktail because it's got a bit of, bit of pressure on it because it's being bent over the, uh, the dumbbell eyes there. So that bit of resin there will protect it from fish and, and breakage and whatnot. Now you get your UV torch and give it a good dose. You want to make sure you set all of your, uh, your clear coat. So just keep rotating it around, make sure you get into all the little nooks and crannies. And give it a really good blasting. And voila. So once you're finished, grab your fly out, neaten it up a little bit if it needs it. Make sure your, your underside is laying nicely. But there you have it. That is a pink and white bucktail fly, bucktail clouser. That's ready to catch out there. Everything from flathead to tuna. Really handy to have in the box and uh, one you should definitely have at home. Alright guys, catch you later.